it's I'm Nicholas Webb, and I'm gonna talk about another thing. Um, well, I recently saw some a video about the rulings on the new Digimon CCG, and it actually is just being called the CCG. It's like CCG version two, I guess. Whatever, uh, or version four, because this is the fourth incarnation of Digimon in America. So. The history of the game, the, the games, basically the first one was right from Japan, and that game is still in some form, in a way, still going. We aren't so lucky. So, what's, so, you know, and the, the, the second game was the Detector. Uh, it was basically paper, rock, scissors, you know, no real thing. I mean, you only bought it because it gave you the codes for the car it gave you codes for carrot to get unlock Digimon in your uh, detector which actually was quite cool because you could use that all, all day long so what we got going here and this is you know I'm, I'm a magic player so there's a few funny things like basically I have more than three copies of Mad Leomon and I'm using them as cat tokens in my magic deck for magic because it's epic and it's always nice to have a Leomon on your side. I also got some other Leomon like Leomon X from the third CCG which that one I think had that one more or less I think it failed for the very simple reason it wasn't really done. You know they really didn't do a much of a job on it. It was it was kind of it was weak. Um, it had some neat concepts. It had a you know kind of a race system instead of a life point system, meaning you basically inc the strongest player in multiplayer, which almost no one ever did. But man, it was interesting. It was always the first one to leave the game, leaving all the other players to go around and play. Meaning you kind of you know the first player goes out there, but then everyone else plays. That was really cool. This now this is the fourth one, and my question has become: now the the, the the third one needed. I think it failed mainly because, and this is something someone said like that one was a huge failure. I think it failed mainly because they dropped support for it, and they put it out without before between seasons. It was um, coming out before season five and after season four had done its run. So it's coming into this this Digimon drought area. It comes out, it's really well done, I thought. Had some, you know, neat concepts. Then I think it all kinda went downhill when they did the um X Digimon because they kinda made an effect that, you know, it's like, okay, what is against? Like I always thought that was kinda weird and also the fact that the abilities were like if they battle each other, you know, they counteract the the other Digimon's ability unless they're X Digimon. I'm like, uh, okay, you have to build a X deck to compete against the X deck or something. I don't know. It was a big. It, it was kind of what made me get really pissed off about things, and I was not happy. So anyway, these are the card. This fourth one. The fourth one has. And, you know, I heard that it's a modified version of the um, Power Rangers game. Which, you know, I don't know what that means. Um, but, I think it has kind of an interesting thing where, you know, the victor gets, the, gets one point closer to winning. But, at the same time, the loser gets the, you know, in a, in a single exchange, the loser gets more power, more cards to work with the next turn. They, they, they can pay for more powerful abilities. So, you kind of, you go back and look at that and you're like, okay, that makes it where, you know, you have to, you win, doesn't mean, you don't, you get on a winning streak, but doesn't mean you're going to keep winning. You could very well lose pretty bad the next game. But then you have the opportunity. So it's like losing isn't as bad as you might think. It's it, that's interesting, and you know it's like part of me is wondering if the game's too short, but 
I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it could be. It could go a little bit longer. You know, you could have ten code crowns, but without without more cards, you know, more cards to pull from. I think that would just be kind of repetitive, and you know, it wouldn't be as interesting. So until there's more code crowns to pull from, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath. What I have out here are my two, my, my extra cards, which I've been pulling like crazy. I mean, Octomon, you gotta love that. And then like, you know, Dampimon, and then I have basically, you know, you max out at, at three in this game. So I have like, I, I here is a stack on top of the Code Crowns of the cards that I have um, have more than three of. These are the cards that are, you know, I'm like totally willing to give, get rid of, trade for, what, trade with, or whatever. And, you know, it's interesting. I mean, oh my god, how many red Maramon I got. <laughs> Which, you know, it, it's interesting. I guess what I'm I'm making this video about is more about the fact that the game is I have high hopes for it now. I mean, when I first heard about, it, I was like, "All right, that's something." But as I started playing with it, I see, "Oh man, the mechanics in here are great." But now, I, so I'm I'm hopeful, but I have some things that I'm curious to see how it comes about. One. There are a few factions in this series. And then there's the non-faction guys. And they're the ones that just, you know, don't have any any alignment. They're just the star guys or whatever. What I'm wondering about is, what are they going to do? I mean, there is a huge amount of things they can pull from. But once this season is done with, the next season... And this is where it could get hairy. The entire concept of factions and wars, the war type thing, is completely different. Because they're more or less, it's individual tamers and they're Digimon. I mean, yes, they did kind of decide they're going to be team, they're going to be team fusion fighter, or well, cross heart is what it was called in Japan. And I'm going to probably call it that most of the time because, well, that's what I learned to call it. But it's one of those things that really needs to be, um, you really need to think about. It's like, how is this going to change, you know, how will the, these characters change the games? Because, you know, what, how does, you know, Gumdramon work? Is he going to be a fusion fighter character, per se, or is he going to be his own little faction? And that's some of the questions I'm wondering. And the Bagra army is non-existent in that series so that if you're building a Bagra deck and they go to that and they get start making cards for the next series what what happens to your Bagra cards do you have to like are you not going to get any new ones um are you going to have to do other things and I know these are down the line but there's also the fact and they may do this when they finish up with the fusion fusion cards. I mean, they they have a few sets and then they can keep going. They have a prevola of Digimon they can use. And they, I mean, they have bunches of them. I mean, there's, I'm going to start saying this Piomon, um, rather than Biomon. I'm going to see, I'm going to see if we can get it where it's that proper name because it was just a typo, so Piomon. Are we going to get Piomon evolutions? And if so, is she going to be a star, or is she, you know, one of the yellow ones, or is she going to have some kind of faction? Even though, you know, she's existed otherwise, you know, are we going to get the original Tamer Digimon? Are we going to get a normal Agumon, not one of the Digi memories? Um, are we going to get, um, what are we going to do when they don't use Digi memories? Because, you know, that was a kind of a, that was a one-time deal for this, the series. You know, it's one series and not going to continue with it. Kind of like, you know, a lot of other evolutions. 
So, you know, I have these questions on what they're going to do. And I hope they come up with something, because, man, that is awesome. It's awesome how they do it. And, by the way, I'm going to show something. I really do enjoy this, this series, and I, I watched the Japanese one, and I made the, I put this sticker on it about... I don't know, a couple years ago, before I bought my my 3DS, this is my DSi. It has the cross heart symbol, or fusion fighter symbol. And I bloody, this is how much I enjoyed the series when I watched the Japanese version. And sorry it's a little blue, but, you know, that's the, um, that's the dangers of, uh, using using a camera like this it's pretty cheap so this is something that tells you I really did I really do like the show and I want more good things to happen so now I just want to see if we can get you know, I want more card game, more cards to come out for this series and I'd like to know how they're gonna handle some of the old stuff and I wonder how they're gonna hand how they're handling Mervamon um, I haven't seen any pictures, but I really want to, I really hope they, they handle her properly, because, well, that was the main thing I disliked about the series, was Merva Mon's design. Because her, her alternate form, the more child form, Minerva Mon, is so much cuter, uh, honestly, and not as uncomfortably dressed, because that's how I kind of see it, is that, Mervamon's uncomfortably dressed. I'm hoping that, you know, we'll have, you know, better cards come out. And and, and I would like to see Mervamon come out because then there's a lot of neat little things you can do with, like, um, well, one thing, you can actually use Nini's army. I mean, right now, you kind of, she's kind of more or less just augmenting another army. And if you put it in there, you know, you have to kind of make it make sense. But there's no fusions you can really perform with, um, the, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, with Sparrowmon. So, it, it, it's kind of like, I'm a little concerned with the fact that they use these factions as the, as the, um, element types or whatever. For the series so and that's what I'd like to see actually is if they if they're gonna do something I think it'd be really cool if and, and this is just something kind of go with season four concept rather than having the you know team whatever they have something else like uh, uh, what else, what else could it be like just other other fact like element symbols or and this would make a lot of sense you know, do virus, vaccine, and data, and have that as um, some some types, and you know that would make it where people would have you know th that's a kind of an understandable way to handle it. Now I don't know if it's there if that's going to be something that is going to be an issue. They may have it planned out pretty good. It's just that you know I've I've been following Digimon's card games since it came out and uh, <clears throat> I've been concerned that it's just going to fall on its face and fail. But this game has given me a lot of hope because one I saw you know I, I when I, I pre-ordered it basically of course it was, I actually didn't get it set aside because well no one thought we had to. To be quite frank, no one, none of us thought we had to. So we get these cards. So you know, I, I go in there and I come in there like the you know a Friday or a Thursday to come in and try to pick up the cards. I come in there and I talk to the Hatter. I mean, the Mad Hatter's House of Games. The place is awesome. If you're in the Lubbock area, it's basically the game. That, he's the one. He's already signed up to be to do a Digimon Fusion tournament. He's still waiting to figure out what that's going to be like. Anyway, 
You know, he goes in there and he already ran out of the out of his starter, all the starters. So I had to wait for a few more days when he got another few in. Basically, he ran out so fast. He's like, "Whoa!" I had no idea that was going to happen, and neither did I, because honestly, I didn't think it was going to work. Because, well, I'm pessimistic from past experiences, but we got this going. I'm, I'm becoming more and more hopeful the, the longer we go through this. So I'm hoping that in, that, you know, this is going to be one of the things that tells people, hey, this is going to be awesome and we're going to do great. Anyway, um, that, I think that's all I need to say on that, uh. I'm putting, I'm leaving it in this box because, well, it's a nice box. And here are my two fusion decks. Um, and I haven't really, I, I really was doing the, um, you know, having the code crowns in a separate color, a separate type of sleeve. So, um, oh, oh, I figured that out pretty quickly. I did that with chaotic. So, yeah. Now, on. Just to let y'all know what I plan to do eventually. I picked this guy up and I've been reading on his instructions and I plan to do a review, but I want to get a, a review where I can get his do his fusion. And as it is, I'm having a heck of a time finding male Bergemon. Oh, okay, I tried twice and it failed. So these other guys, I just went in there and picked them up. This guy was the only one left when I went to go pick him up. So, and then I tried again, and they, oh, they got a, a whole thing in, and now Shoutman was the only one left. So, these are selling pretty well, I think. Um, I haven't seen them at Walmart, and I'm, of course, I'm in the middle of the, the mid middle of the country, you know, in West Texas, and you don't get things very quickly. I mean, there was the, the CCG set, uh, certain packaging that was supposed to be a Target never came. And some stuff at Toys R Us never came. And it's like, geez, thanks. So anyway, um, I think this is, um, when I get my hands on the male Bergamon, I'll have some little things and, you know, some comments. And I I've been looking at this and I think I'm going to, th this figure I think is, um, this figure with the male Bergamon will probably turn out being really, really cool. But... The instructions that I've been reading, I don't think really work. They don't look as well. So I have a concept on how to, you know, change up the few the instructions a little to make them look a little bit more. Look, make them look a little bit better when he's in his combined form because, from what I've seen, he looks really, really like too tall. Like he has a really thin body, and it just doesn't really work. Me. And I'm hoping that it'll come out, and when I get my hands on it, I'll do the re I'll do the review and explain to people what I think. But from what I can tell, this is this is another great figure. I mean, these toys are great. They are on par with the Japanese counterparts, and that is something to be said. Because I mean, the only way you can get a, a be better figure on these guys is maybe a D arts, which. If they do D arts of like Shoutmon Cross Four that defuses and stuff, uh, then oh, that will be epic. But probably a few hundred dollars too. So anyway, I just thought I'd go in there and let y'all guys know I am I'm on the game and I'm I'm gonna see what I can learn and I'm very excited about the, the card game. Now we just gotta get some of the the video games to come some video games and a re-release of um, Digimon World 3. That game needs a re-release partly in the America. Mainly because the original version was missing the final chapter where you like go into basically something that the entire game built up to and never got. So, if Bandai you see this Ah, uh, that's what I want to see, and I want it on the 3DS so we could do like card battles and by we could card battle each other or something. Cause that was one of the best Digimon games that was ever put out. And if y'all do a re remake of it, just a slight remake, 
like better graphics. You know, I mean, you know, I almost swear the um, X, Digi Pokemon X and Y looks like a remake of this game. It, that that's that's kind of funny because like the graphics look about the same, react the same, except there's no you know hit and fall animation. There's just hit and then a uh, faint animation, which are completely separate in Pokemon X and Y. While in this PlayStation One game, it's just it's it's one you know quick little thing, and if you if your Digimon goes down and they get hit, they stay down. Well, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching and let me know if y'all guys enjoy these videos and whatnot so I know what y'all guys want to see. Alright, catch you later.